Here we see the athlete in his prime. He's just finished a cigarette. He's got his croissant and his Red Bull. <laughs> Love it or hate it, that's the prime of our sport right now. <laughs> Hey! Where are we? What are we up to today? Currently, top of Coronet. Um, we just took the lift up uh, after getting a shuttle from the Heli Bike NZ guys from town. So we're going top of Coronet, down Flow One, into Rude Rock, and then uh, into Skipper's Canyon. And then we get picked up by the Heli at the bottom of that, and then to the top of uh, Bowen Peak, which is insane views up there. So, yeah, stoked. Hey guys, you're on my chest, but uh, get prepared for some crazy fun downhills, lots of flowy jumps and corners, and uh, yeah, just an overall good time. Enjoy. Ride fast, take chances, hesitation kills. Whoa, that was way better than I was expecting. <laughs> That's real knowledge, eh? What do they say? Ski fast, love slow. <laughs> Here she comes. I'm scared of heights, so this could be a bit gnarly for me. Looks insane though. Oh, we're good. We're going. Let's go. That was lovely. So good. Um, it's kind of gnarly with the wind, like, you know, being a little tip, like tipping around and stuff, but whole crew's up at the top now. Views are insane. We got a dope trail to finish off the day. Um, yeah, just all the way down the ridge line. I think they just did a bunch of work on the trail too, so should be, uh, should be running absolutely primo, especially after a bit of rain yesterday. So yeah, couldn't ask for a better day. So dusty. Spots are crazy, dude. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> There's a few like kind of like rises that's just like, can't see anything. Shuttle up to Coronet, down all the way to Skipper's Canyon. That was like 1,100 meters of descent. 
heli ride up to the top of Bowen Peak, another like 1500 meters of descending. So absolutely huge day on the bikes today. Um, yeah, super stoked on it. Thanks Heli Bike NZ for the, for the shuttles and uh, yeah, just finishing off the day by the beach with the docks. Ready to go sleep like they are. We're at Mini Dream and we're up to some jumps to get me confident at jumping and I'm got quite intimidated coming here. <laughs> is this the start of the free ride career and uh... This is uh, the start and the end I think <laughs> of the free ride career, the free ride Nina. <laughs> Do free riders wear goggles? Do they wear a visor? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good question. Take this off, take this off. <laughs> The push-up was pretty easy. That's nice. You know what's weird is figuring out the speed. Because the first one I thought I was a bit fast. Went a bit slower now, but these lifts taking your speed away. <gasps> <Whoa. Okay. laughs> I'm so bad in gauging the speed and how much you pull up and stuff. I just felt like very steep taking off and I was like, ooh, ah, I'm in the air for long. <laughs> but I'm definitely out of my comfort zone, <laughs> which is fine. Von Steedman. Oh. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> I feel like that, that's enough. <laughs> I don't need to go bigger, but we want to go bigger. Sake. I need to get more comfortable on the drop. <laughs> and you look up and you just see a wall in front of you. Do it, huh? The thing is, as I only done the drop twice now, I'm still so like focused on the drop and like not messing that one up that I can't actually focus enough on the one after. So I take my head up and I'm like, oh, it's there already. Like, you know, I don't have time in the head to process that, but... Because actually when I look at that one now, it looks steep as well and big, but I jumped that easily before. That was so easy! <laughs> Funny ass! <laughs> I just told myself, enjoy the air time. You do another straight away. <laughs> Get comfortable. Can, we can stop now, like I'm happy <laughs> with what I achieved today. And what's the sick thing is, I didn't follow anyone, like I did it on my own. But you know when you go off like such a ramp and you not do this very often, <clears throat> you're just getting scared, but... Because you know you have to skill. Stoked. Big progress. Ah, yeah, normal progress. <laughs> XR100 World Championships presented by Van Zacks at the ship ponds and it's starting to heat up. Oh, 
Championships here in Queenstown, New Zealand. Um, this is a once year event. So basically we got a big sandbank here. Yeah, just ripping pit bikes. They've made a track and a whole bunch of races that we're gonna do. Let's go get sideways. with Lori on the back. I like tried to lean into the corner and I just went straight and then we hit like two lips and we're just like off track completely. And then we like cut a corner so I like let everyone else catch up and then like got back on. Ended up making the pass and then uh, just yeah, drawing her home. But uh, it's really hard to ride with him on the back. I'll give you that. Bye bye Queenstown. Bye. See you in a year. Basically. Come on. Touchdown, baby. <laughs> Boom. Start a hard line Tasmania. Nervous, haven't seen the whole upper section yet, but um, yeah, we got a good crew. Everyone's just gonna start piecing their way down, sessioning a whole bunch of stuff. So um, yeah, just gonna kind of see see how she goes up top. Um, yeah, so first day practice, and we got tons of time to, to get everything dialed in. So yeah, no rush on uh, on the pressure side of things. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I'm scared. Oh, look, he's on the red rocket. Look at him. Come on. Oh, that's your teammate, bro. I know. He's good rider, right? He's a so great sexy. rider. Yeah, buddy. I just got smoked with a rock. Dude, this is carnage. Quite fun so far, actually. Like a little bit more tech than I anticipated as well. Cause picked off one of the bigger drops. I think we get a little bit bigger down here, and then everything from there looks pretty good, to be honest. Yeah. 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 G. Fuck yeah, boy. Yee! That was dope, dude.
one shit ever. Oh my god. That is the sickest shit I ever ridden. Bro. You, you case that shit so hard. Oh! Granny Greenland would be proud. What do done? you want from me? How was it? First day done. At yeah. First day completed it, everybody. Um, yeah, it was a fun one. Oh, that was so fun. Everything went really smooth. You know, there's a few like crashes. You know, nothing, nothing major, which is always a good sign. And everything uh, is working out really good. So, like coming here, we're real like. Not that optimistic, they've done a good job on the trail build to be honest, heard a lot of rumours and they sort of like pulled it off last minute, it's so sick. All the girls have through most of it as well, which is pretty cool. Mad, hard lines for the fucking girls. Still got these last, uh, I think three or four jumps to test, leave those ones for tomorrow and then, um, you know, pretty much the whole rest of the track is a go, so yeah, good vibes. Come to Hardline and end up filming the fire road. We're filming this dusty fire road for Sven Martin because uh, I just listen to what he tells me to do normally. Scary man. No, <laughs> oh, that was horrible. <laughs> oh my god. Whose idea was that? Wait, wait. What the hell? I can't see a thing. <laughs> Literally covered. Yeah, too. <laughs> That's what you get for being too good on a bike, sending big jumps. It's, it's not a false alarm, it's a real alarm. Course yeah. is closed, too windy. Breaking news from the mountain, Bernard Kerr testing wingsuit. Testing wingsuit. He's gonna take off at the cannon and land at the finish. The crowd is ready. <laughs> it's true, Red Bull wing line. BK will be debuting a wingsuit a in wing suit, yep. finals. No, qualifying this You heard it here first. <laughs> Just down here, the hard line on the finish the jump. Area. It's no longer the finish so jump. Today, yeah. We've got a bit of British weather in Tasmania. on that phone call. Right Tails? Yeah. As you drop in at the top, that first braking point before the roots, a little bit greasy there. Don't leave your braking all the way for there. You know the middle rock garden after that V drop? Those berms are made out of clay and I almost like slipped out on the one right hand or something like that. Otherwise it's pretty sweet. Okay, good luck. Good luck on the phone. Hey, uh, Ronan and Jackson. They just you know, asking the expert what to do and how to ride. So just thought I'd give him a couple of pointers, a couple of tips off the brakes a bit, you know, my style. Fuck, I didn't get a phone, phone, phone oh, call from him. Oh, we guessed it was you two. No. Oh. Really? That's oh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess Taylor doesn't love me. It's fine. 
it's not like I've done anything for his career at all. It's not like I've, you know, helped him still be in the sport. So it's, it's fine. It's totally fine. Don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> Finals day, practice done, just race runs left. I think they're feeling pretty good. They look quietly confident. Track's <coughs> quite wet up top, but drying out really fast. So I think by, by the time it gets to their race runs, it'll like, dry up a little bit. So give them a bit of confidence going into finals. Riders left to go. We go to the top then for one of the fastest downhillers on the planet, Laurie Greenland, yeah, for the Santa Cruz Syndicate. A tough win again, back to the fitness he is now. But he's been looking good all week. Just over a second off then. But split number one, Fearon, was absolutely phenomenal. Just 0.13 off now then. So fighting back here. Laurie Greenland really putting it together. Just a little on the safe side, I guess, but uh, I think I got six or seven today, not too bad. But man, it's so much fun. Like, such a sick week. Loved it. Well, the last time we had a Red Bull Hardline was in Wales in 2022, and this man won it his very first attempt by no less than seven seconds. The only man last year to win two elite World Cup downhill races. Jackson Goldstone then on track. Absolutely unbelievable to watch. Watch the way he puts the bike exactly where he wants it, using these bumps as a little rhythm section, coming around. Oh, oh, oh and a big crash for Goldstone! Oh, Goldstone goes down! Yeah, so, um, hardline didn't go to plan. Obviously, I crashed in my race run and had a... Yeah, pretty high speed collision with a tree. It happened so quick that it, you know, I there wasn't much I could have done. Um, you know, a few inches offline, and then uh, yeah, rear wheel went into a hole, pitched me forward, and then I like almost saved it, and like almost was able to like jump off and miss the tree. But um, yeah, I hit the tree pretty hard. So thanks to Red Bull, I was able to get an MRI and uh, some meetings with with my physio and, and uh, a surgeon pretty quickly. You know, MRI said that I've, I've ruptured my, or uh, fully torn my ACL and MCL. Um, so yeah, big recovery, big surgery coming up for me. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be tough.